How's it going, everybody? I want to thank you for tuning in to another devotional. I have the pleasure of bringing you the devotional today and just want to say thank you for tuning in, as always, and for commenting, sharing, liking, following, um, it's just and just being with us throughout this time. Today's devotional is actually going to be entitled um, Newborn Trust, um, and it's going to come from Psalms uh, chapter 131. Um, and it's a short chapter. It's only three verses, but... Um, the message is from Psalms chapter 131, verses 1 through 3, and I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. And once again, that title is going to be Newborn Trust. Um, so without further ado, um, it reads, Lord, my heart is not proud, nor my eyes haughty, nor do I involve myself in great matters or in things too difficult for me. Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul, like a winged child resting with his mother. My soul is like a winged child within me, composed and freed from discontent. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. Uh, such a wonderful word. Um, it's two things I want to lift up. Um, the first being in um, verse 1. Uh, where it says, uh, nor do I involve myself in great matters or in things too difficult for me. Now, when, when we think of newborn and we think of trust, um, when it comes to a newborn, you know, the newborn is actually depending on its parent, you know, its mother and father for everything. Um, and at that time, Realistically, everything is too difficult for a newborn. I mean, a newborn can't get up and make their own food. A newborn can't, don't have the pleasure or the power nor the strength to, um, or just even the know-how to, you know, go use the restroom themselves. Um, they, they really can't do anything. They have, to, they have to just trust on their parent to provide not only the essentials, but to provide the, 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 the strength and the ability and the physicality of everything they need done. I mean, they can't sit up on their own at that time and, you know, verbalize what they want or what they would like uh, or how they feel for that matter. Um, they can't just they can't just get up and do um, as someone older. So they have to have this trust. They have to have this trust within everything. And within that trust, they're just they're just content. You know, they have this distrust like they know they're well. And as 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 newborns, and I say this, we should have that newborn trust because with our father, we should know that everything is well. He has everything. See, as a newborn, everything is too difficult. As we get older, sometimes we look at things like we can handle it on our own. When in fact, we're supposed to put those things or give those things to the Father. We're supposed to pray about them and give it to the Father. We are not supposed to handle things, whether we feel they're too difficult or not, on our own, and we're never alone. We always have Him to help us through times of need. Um, even He's there without times of need. And we wanna make sure that we're not, we're not stressed out. We wanna make sure that we're not too worried, or worried at all for that matter. We want to have that newborn trust in the Lord, um, because as a newborn, they have no worries, they have no care, they are content, and we want to have that that trust. You know that newborn is is so comfortable in the arms of their parent, you know, resting and just believing and trusting and not having that care. We should we should feel the same within the arms of our Father. He is our comforter. He is our healer. He is our protector. He is our strength. He is everything to us. So we should have that we should have that that trust in him as a newborn has in their in their parent. We should trust in our father the same way. The second thing I would like to like to lift up is the third verse where it says, um, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever. So we want to make sure that this newborn trust is not a temporary thing. You know, once we come to this re uh, realization and this revelation of this newborn trust and we start to exercise it, 
We don't want it to be for that moment. We want this to be something that's a lifestyle. We want this to carry on forever because the Lord is forever. His word is forever. His love is forever. His care is forever. He's always and will be our protector. He's going to be the great I am forever indefinitely. So why would we only trust him for a minute period of time or a short period of time to where we're treating him as he's temporary. We're treating his love as his temporary when in fact it is indefinite. It, it, it is indefinite. So we want to make sure that we have the courage and the trust as a newborn to understand that we can trust in the Lord, not only now, but forever and all the times to come. So moving forward, newborn trust. Um, don't worry. You know, the, 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 the world is going to throw things um, in our path, in our way, and it's going to try to slow us down. Um, we're going to have many things that arise. I mean, right now we're, we're, we're maneuvering through a pandemic. And of course, we're not maneuvering through this pandemic on our own. You know, we have the strength and the direction and the guidance you know, of our father. So even during this time, even during this time, he's there. He's guiding and he's doing what he does best. Um, and just another thing, you know, when, when a newborn is resting with their parent, when a newborn has, has that rest, you know, when you think about a newborn, you're, you're holding that newborn, whether you're laying there or you're walking around and that newborn is just resting on your chest. Um, that newborn has, has a complete trust to where you're only going to hear from that newborn two times or two reasons. One is when it's handling something that it can't take, take care of. You know, the, that newborn is hungry and it can't feed itself. The newborn is wet and can't change itself. Um, or it's happy. You know, you, you know you're, you're making, making that newborn laugh. It's a certain joy. Um, and, and, and that just shows where we should be when we're reaching out or when we have an expression to our Father. You know, we should be quick to praise Him and seek Him during the good times and quick to praise Him and seek Him during the times that are difficult. So it's not either or. We should always look to him. We should always seek his face. We should always praise his name in the good and in the bad. Just as the newborn, you're only going to hear from that newborn two times. During the bad, during the good. Hey, I can't eat. I can't make my own bottle. I need you to I need you to take care of this for me. Hey, I'm wet. I need you to take care of this for me. Or, hey, you just made me laugh. You hit a funny, you know, you hit a funny, funny, funny bone or you tickled me or something like that. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's awesome when you look at the, when you, when you look at a newborn and their trust and just how they function because they just have no care. And that's where we should be within the Lord. We should give all of that to him. So just moving forward, let's have that newborn, that newborn trust. And let, and let that be what people see in us, no matter what's going on. We just have that trust in the Lord. Um, so let's lift up the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for just the opportunity to be in the presence of your word. Uh, we do understand that it, there are people amongst us or just in the world in general who, does not who do not have that same opportunity or that same pleasure. It is truly a blessing to have your word near and accessible. Uh, we also want to thank you for just giving us the opportunity to be able to trust in you um, as a newborn. Uh, we understand that you are everything. You are everywhere. So you know what's best. I mean, you you knew us before we were in the womb. So you, you already know what our paths are. You already know what you have planned for us. Uh, we just have to trust in you and take that guidance in that direction. We also want to just thank you for allowing us to wake up today. I mean, it, it may seem so simple to some, but, you know, allowing us to wake up just gives us yet another opportunity to not only be closer to you, but also to learn more about you and to be better than what we were and who we were the day before. We have yet another chance to just show your, your glory through our actions and our care for one another. Father, we just thank you for sending your son to, to, to die for us and, you know, to, to give us that opportunity to be redeemed to have, have that righteous stance in front of you. Um, we all seek and we all have that, that same mission. And although sometimes our journeys are different, but 
You being a wonderful God, you are. You keep us on a path, even though we may we may make a left when we should go right. You know, we 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 stop when we should be going. You make sure you get us back on course, and we love you for that, Father. So we just want to give you thanksgiving this this day, and we we just want to share our love and our grace and and just just our appreciation for your mercy, and in your Son Jesus' name, we thank you for forgiving us for all that we do and have done. And things that we aren't even aware that we've done. We thank you. In your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.